Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Arash Rafi Tabrizi. I'm a gynecologic oncology surgeon and at Cornell I run a research lab and we're looking at the genetics of these two different cancers and their impact on uh, patients' treatment uh, uh, during disease. Uh, so uh, it depends on the country, it was, I would say uh, usually what we say women above 50 should have one mammogram per year plus or minus an ultrasound and they should see their gynecologist at least once per year. Uh, so the first thing is n do not panic. In the Middle East there's a whole uh, concept of uh, uh, denial which is like oh I have something it's better not go to a doctor most often uh, breast tumors are benign so uh, as soon as you feel something a lump or something in the breast or you feel any weird abdominal symptoms uh, any abnormal bleeding you should actually go and seek medical advice because most of the time uh, things can be diagnosed at a very early stage where they're curable as I said before if uh, you let it go to uh, advanced stage and uh, the treatment will not be as efficient and we might not be able to cure a disease that could have been very easily treated by uh, surgery and sometimes just a little bit of radiation therapy uh, at early stages. Usually a member of your family have a cancer and uh, when you talk to the doctors they notice that there's a pattern of cancer from the test and if you will be RCA1 or 2 mutated and we discover new genes every day because of the new uh, technologies then what happens is that you we can estimate your risk of developing breast and ovarian cancer for example BRC1 is 70% of breast cancer development on your lifetime and 30 to 30 percent of ovarian cancer so based on these numbers we would advise people either to have a follow-up that's a little bit different from the general population in particular for the breast we recommend MRI rather than mammogram and we usually say uh, advise people to remove their ovary and fallopian tubes uh, after they completed their fertility and family goals so what Angelina did is before she got sick she decided to do a preventive surgery, already a complex procedure, you know, and then has its own downs compared to a uh, follow-up, but uh, th that's a decision that the patient should make. And now with uh, the genetic area and personalized medicine, we're able to act before disease happens. A general advice uh, for this would be that often I realize the patients are really ignoring themselves and in particular women within their 40s to 50s they're uh, completely overwhelmed by uh, their families and the kids that they're raising and they kind of uh, forget about their own health so really uh, stick to the follow-up that have been established by multiple like national societies and guidelines and the goal is really to uh, prevent uh, occurrence of uh, cancer at advanced disease. So that's really the biggest uh, piece of advice is just stick to the follow-up.